Hi everyone, welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by the Homics Middle School Earth Science Department. Today we're going to be talking about page one in your reference table, the average chemical composition of Earth's crust, hydrosphere, and troposphere chart. So this is a relatively easy chart to read because everything is in nice neat columns and rows. Let's talk about the titles in your chart. First we're going to start with the elements. Each one of those elements is found somewhere within the Earth. The next section over is going to be your crust. Now these percentages are either going to be by mass or these percentages are going to be by volume. Okay, so very important to know the difference. The next section over is going to be the hydrosphere. This is going to be the water portion of our Earth. Again, those numbers there are represented by percentages by volume. And then finally the troposphere, which is a portion of the atmosphere. Again, percentages by volume. If for any reason you have a space that's blank with no number, it just represents that that element is not found in that part of the Earth. So let's give you a couple examples. We want to know what percentage of magnesium is found in the crust by volume. It's going to be about 0.33%. We want to know what percentage of oxygen is found in the crust by mass, 46.10%, or by volume. It's going to be 94.04%. You notice oxygen in relation to the crust is going to be the most abundant element. We want to know what percentage of nitrogen is found in the troposphere by volume. Okay, 78.0%. Again, nitrogen is the most abundant element found in the troposphere. And finally, hydrogen. We want to know what percentage of hydrogen is found in the hydrosphere by volume. 66.0%. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the hydrosphere. So it's as simple as that. So listen to this a couple times if you need to. Okay, good luck with your studies. Bye-bye.